Hey there, hi there, hold there, fire familia, and welcome to Narjan Reacts. In this video, we're reacting to the second episode of The Digital Circus. Uh, if you'd like access to the full unedited reaction, go join my Patreon. The link for it will be in the description down below. Oh, uh, yeah. We have been waiting actually not that long for the second episode of Digital Circus. If I'm correct, Murder Drones, when the pilot came out, I think it was about a year or a little longer before the second episode uh, was uh, released by Glitch. Um, Digital Circus the pilot, we got like, what, six, seven months ago? Because I remember being like, uh, around the time of Glitch X, that was October. So I think, maybe it was sooner than that? No, yeah, so I would say six to seven months ago is when the pilot for Digital Circus was released. So the fact that we have the second episode already, you know, there's one or two things that has to have happened is that um one they had to have known really fast that this show was greenlit <laughs> which within the first i think probably day they knew considering how many views the pilot got um their team has expanded which i would presume so considering they've got murder drones they've got digital circus and they've got um gaslight district in the works so their team has definitely gotten bigger so i'm sure they can put out more sooner i'm gonna guess it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how soon episode three for digital circus comes out like whether it'll be in guaranteed like two months or something like that or longer um but yeah anyway let's get into the video oh so they even got an intro for a. Uh... Digital Circus. I mean, it makes sense. If they did one for Murder Drones, of course they're going to do one for Digital Circus. Welcome to the amazing hey, Kane. Digital Circus. Tommy. Tommy. I'm like most excited for the animation for this. Tommy. 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 Hey, Pomni. Oh, look at the texture on her eyes. Or eyelids, I should say. Hello. What's going on with your body? Why does it look so like? Like, wavy, like this. What's your hang with? Oh, it's abstracting. That's not good. Oh, wait, she's gotta be. She's dreaming, right? She's dreaming. We wouldn't hit episode two and have her already abstracting. Yeah, she's definitely dreaming. Wormhole? Oh no, into the pit. We're not all cut out for it. I don't even remember her name. Honestly. Hey, Jax. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I would not care about Jax at all because uh, he's an asshole. So him not like caring about if I were upon me, if he didn't care whether I like abstract or not would not bother me. Ragatha, though, Ragatha seems more like the motherly figure, even though I know people ship Pomni and Ragatha. Um, I feel like I. I would take it more pers like it would be it would hurt more if it was Ragatha. <laughs> Kane will be 50-50. Now wake up. Oh, oh not the clipping. And hey, wait, wait, what's your room look like? I'm sure we're gonna see it more, but I just wanna see in case we don't. Is that a cupcake on your on this like random like no, what is that? This looks like a this looks like a light pole or something. Not light pole, kind of like a light pole, but it's not the bed stand or not bed stand, but you know bed frame. Hmm, looks like a cupcake though. I wonder, do you do they decorate their own rooms or do they like spawn when they spawn? Like it knows their theme. Wow, how many? You're not even tall enough to reach most of these. You're like probably tall enough to reach up to the like this one maybe. And you wouldn't even be able to see it. You'd have to like reach in and be like this. <laughs> C-A-B-K. Okay. I'm not expecting to go into much like too much uh, like things I noticed with the, this series because I don't think it's going to be like murder drones. I see like a, is that a seal? I think it's a seal. Another jester hat. Like, like, like she needs another one. There we go. Did her hair, wait, did her bangs just stick to the floor? Uh. 
Okay, no, they were laying flat and then they moved. Okay. Look like they stuck. Hey, Pommy. <laughs> uh, poor thing. Are you still sleeping? I'll let you get back to it if you are. There she is. Hope you're doing all right. I know yesterday was a bit of a doozy. Oh, it's only been a day? Yeah, uh, no, she's she's recovering for sure. A doozy. Mm -hmm. oh, and don't worry about the whole abandoning me for the exit thing. It's perfectly understandable what you were going through at the time. And there's no help. Ouch. <laughs> don't worry about the whole abandoning me, abandoning me for the exit thing. <laughs> Wait, okay, Ragatha, you had a reminder of that? She already felt bad for it. Hard feelings. <laughs> You're all good. The blink. Uh, oh, look, even the texture. Okay, so yeah, they've uh, they've upgraded their animation for all around. God, look at the texture on her face. The buttons. I'm surprised. Her hair doesn't look real. Like her, her, her uh, face, like her head and body have the texture of like a doll. But... I'm surprised they didn't go with like a yarny, like fuzzy, wooly look for her hair. Maybe they couldn't get it. I don't know. Uh, well, let's forget about all that. Kane's got a new adventure today, and judging oh, by yay. what he's been teasing, it seems like it's gonna be a fun one. What he's been teasing? You mean what Glitch has been teasing on their Twitter and YouTube and all that stuff? Today's adventure is Candy Carrier Chaos. Candyland. That's right. Candy Canyon Kingdom's been- Of course we would go to Candyland. I, you cannot have, like, a digital world that looks like topsy-turvy, all this stuff without a Candyland. Robbed of their most valuable resource, maple syrup! It's up to you to bring the rotten bandits who stole it to sweet, buttery justice. An entire kingdom of candy sounds sticky. Very sticky. Let's not make sticky jokes, please. I don't. I, not with, not with Digital Circus's fandom. I'm sorry. Let's not make sticky jokes. Indeed. Sounds. Bubble, you can't say that. <laughs> the way he came to this, this is like, even he's like shocked. But of course, Zubel's just standing there. Nope. Zubel, wait. Nope. I'm testing out. Oh, the fact that Zubel's the only one that showed up. New AI in this one. It should be 57 times more immersive. Ooh, a new AI. You don't want to mess hey, with the new AI, Zuby. Uh, Zuby. Yeah, no. Mm. Wow, well, sounds fun. What do you think, Pomni? Mm. So. I think. Mm, I think I. I think I would take that over the previous adventure in the first episode. Hey, Gangle. Aren't <laughs> Wait, Gangle's actually smiling. Aw, she's not crying. Existence here is just LARPing. Wait, I just realized. Okay, I need to listen back to what she said, but that means Gangle's comedy mask was fixed. Yay! Or replaced. Just LARPing. LARPing? Well, Why are you all just standing there? The, the Jesus Canyon Candy Canyon Kingdom needs you now. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, he's just not giving them a chance to like think on it. He's just like, no, go, 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 go. <laughs> also, the, the whole like, or I can I can only do cross side. I can't do opposite. But what in the world? Of course your, of course your uh, pipette would have bubbles. No thanks. I'm trying to quit. No thanks. I'm trying to quit. <laughs> Candy Canyon Kingdom. Okay. This looks neon. Holy lord. This is not a place a di person with diabetes would want it to be in. Oh my god, the gummy dummies. I swear to god, if they're called gummy dummies. Or dummy gummies. Please tell me they were referred to that as in the script. At least. The waffle cones and stuff. Man, all the... the all the characters... How many people do they fit in the backgrounds? Yeah, Glitch is really like up their game in animation. Wow, Kinger, check out this castle. It's amazing. They have got little candy bugs here. And hey, Kinger. It's so beautiful. Yeah, this place is great. <laughs> it's the no! You broke her car. <laughs> Please don't tell me this is going to be a thing we with 
angle where she's gonna have a comedy mask and get broke as all she has is the cry. No, somebody please eat this gummy dummy. <laughs> Oh, hello, new character. You must be the brave knight sent to us by God to help us with our recent God. catastrophe. That's us, man. God, more like. The kingdom's awesome, by the way. Love the vibe. Mm. <laughs> I like you already. It's very bright and me. We're sparkly. We're friends with the princess. There's sprinkly. I'm not a child. You don't have to hype me up. I assume you've been in. I'm not a child. You don't have to hype me up. I'm curious. How old is Pop? I'd like to know all their ages, actually. I know, I know Gooseworks, like, talked about it. I think... Jax is the youngest at like 22 or something like that. And I think Ragatha is the oldest. Or was it Kingler? Maybe Kingler was the oldest. Um, but I think Pomni is like in her mid to late 20s. Formed of your mission, so yeah, definitely not a child. The bandits that robbed us use a modded syrup tanker. So we figured the best way to go head to head with them is to give you a war rig of your own. A war rig? <gasps> oh. Violence. Violence. What period is this supposed to be again? Here's the key back into the kingdom. What time? You. What time period is supposed? To, I don't think we're supposed to care about that detail, Pony. The key at the goods. Don't eat it. I trust you not to let it fall into the wrong hands. You can count on me, your highness. Look oh, it. Oh, please, call me Lou. Will Lou. do, Lou. I call shotgun. Does that mean she's British? We can go to the Lou. Oh. oh God, is that the horn? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'd be disappointed too. Angle, you drive. Farewell, good nights. I have every faith in you. No, she doesn't. Does she? Oh my god, is that a freaking? Oh, what's that? Is her cult? Oh, I don't. I forgot what that is. That's part of the main bed of the truck. They're all gonna stop once they leave. Oh hey, crocker, you you crocker gummies. I'm just gonna pull through if we get all this back to the village. I'm sure she will. This much syrup would save hundreds of people. We won't know for sure. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting them to be Australian. I don't know why, but whenever I see like crocodiles in the desert or dessert, <laughs> um, I would expect them to be Australian, kind of like the uh, rescuers down under. Sure, until we get back to the village. She's a fighter, though. Of course. Okay. So he, the main one is Austra Aussie accent. All right. She told me everything I know. Oi! Don't get too comfy, lads. Looks like they've sent someone after us. I'd be kind of funny if it'd be kind of funny if their main bed was like a twinkie. All right, Gangle. When we catch up to them, I'll jump over, crawl inside, and shoot them repeatedly until they're unrecognizable. I is that a licorice shotgun? I feel like that violates some kind of convention. You're <laughs> some kind of convention. In the real world, probably, yeah. But not in digital circus. Violating my ears with your clapback. Get driving, driver. So, gotcha. Pony, I'm sure there's some way you could help out here. Maybe when we catch up to them, we could- Better be assertive. Like this. Hey! Oh. Jax! Oh, she- Ow, ow. She's being- Ah, that's perfect. Hold that pose. I gotta get something. Hold that pose. Wait, did they actually bleep out her saying asshole? I thought she would... That was too short to be effing asshole, so it's gotta be just ass... Why would they bleep that? Well, I guess, okay, there's absolutely no swearing in this, so it makes sense. Never mind. You know, I swear there was some kind of bazooka back here, but ugh, I'm having such trouble finding it. Tommy, take this! Here it is. I'm sorry, that little noise she made when she got hit. And was that a freaking mint, mint, uh, thing? There was some kind of bazooka. I think it is, but it's, of course, hollowed out. No, I mean, they've got mint, mint, um, thingies that have a hollow center. But the sound, I need to listen to this again. Yes! That right, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of kind of like uh, what is it? That meme of the puffer fish with the, uh, or something? <laughs> I don't know. Here it is. That's gonna be a meme for sure. You just stay like that and I'll cross if it's not already. Maybe that moves. Oh, nice going, Pomni. Now I have no bridge. 
Maybe if you stop yakking jacks, you could just shoot them. They're literally not moving or driving anywhere, and you're right across. So just shoot them. Aha! Gotcha! My arms aren't long enough. My arms aren't long enough. He's like a little T-Rex. This lot's trouble. Let's see how that rig does on those rocks around there. My arms aren't short enough to ship the gear. Why do we have the short one being handling that stuff that requires long arms, but then you have the long arm one handling the freaking Who's giving them these roles? Was is it the leader or is it Kane? Rocky Road. Of course. Ow, 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 ow. Just not in the crap. Oh, now we're cooking. Hey, ribbons, up and at him. I don't think we Aren't you supposed to be submissive and agreeable? Move it! Aren't you supposed to be submissive and agree? Oh, there is a part of the fandom that will take that line and play it over and over for them. Mm -mm. And, the, and also material for, you know, uh, art and stuff. Certain art and things. I'm sorry, there's so much. I think the thing about Love of Digital Circus is that one, it was the animation. Like, I'm glad they've upped the animation because that's a feast for my eyes. Not that this is Candy, Candyland's not being a feast and everything, uh, but anyway. Um, also, the comedy. Like, I really like the comedy. In the, not, not that Murder Jones has great comedy, but it's not the focus of Murder Jones. Whereas this is like the main thing is comedy. So, like, I'm I'm happy they're they're hitting off well multiple times so far. Oh, Rest his head on. Hey, quit and get back up here. I love how Pomni is just on the top, hanging on, and just watching all this. Oh yeah, run. Uh, everyone, all right? Um, you have a little question. I couldn't hear you over the knives. Hey, Gangle. Why do you have you knives in there? Into them. What? You should not ram them. Pomni's still on board. Do it. It'll be epic. So It'll be epic. <laughs> There's so Wait, how many more ended up in Ragatha? Do it. Tell Ragatha about the figurine thing. <laughs> oh, figurine thing. Oh, okay, that was enough for. <laughs> These guys are whack jobs. I love the. I you know. I think what I love is how they censor this. The cussing in this series, it's unique. Whereas most series, like they bleep it. This like literally is just a card with bleeping. I'm actually surprised. Well, I don't know. I haven't looked at Glitch's store yet, but like, I'm surprised Glitch, if they don't have it. I actually want to look after this episode. I'll, I'll save it for after the episode. I'll, I'll look. Give it some of this. Oh, no. Was that between her legs? Oh, good thing you're not a boy. <laughs> oh, no more ramming? Guess I have to tell Ragatha about the thing now. Oh, he's still up here. Help. Don't hit her. I don't know why it is dodged. Uh, hey, Kinger, is that rope attached to anything? Uh, Kingler? I don't know. Let me check. Well. Uh, all right. Oh, bye. Pierce through the heart. Stupid Christmas. Jax, how? Staying on top and saying, Are you gummy feet? What? I blame you for this. Of course, you would. We have no clipping, why? <laughs> oh, bye, car. <laughs> Ow. Oh, they've ended up in the mainframe. Lads, why? Anyone? I think Pommy fell down there with him, didn't she? Oh, that's where uh, they all their models all stay.
Yep, that'd be weird. Touch it. Poke it. When an NPC finds out they're an NPC. He's in the back rooms. He's not where he's supposed to be. Not gonna lie, with his eyes hollowed out like that and the rings, it reminds me of the murder drone's eyes. Or drone's eyes and murder drones. Where are we? Like she knows. What's all this? I don't know. We're somewhere. Under the map, I think. Under the map. map. Oh, he didn't. He didn't realize they're NPCs. Oh, ow. Why aren't you or any of your crew up here? We're the main characters. I I'm not sure, B because we are not uh, NPCs. Ah. NPCs. What are you on about? What are you people? What are we? What am I? Where's mom? Y you have a mom? Shouldn't she be here with everyone else? I can't even remember her face. Did she ever have a face? Was anything ever real? Okay, well, wait, don't, don't. He's having existential okay. crisis. I, I think there must be a way to launch ourselves back up, right? He's not doing okay. That can he can I want you to tell me exactly what I am. I don't think you're ready to hear this. Well, never mind. Is that chocolate or blood? Okay, now it looks like chocolate. Oh, is everybody okay? No. Oh man. Poor Gang. Poor Pomni. I hope she's alright. Poor Pomni? How about poor us? We're one tanker away from being Augustus Gloop. Augustus Gloop, not the freaking Willy Wonka reference. Oh, hi. Oh, no. No, no. No, if you start singing, your design alone is already screams, uh, uh, what is it? Canker's bad for a day freaking, uh, poop monster. There's no way it's not a reference to that, right? And if it starts singing, it's straight up. What's that? Do my eyes deceive me? A delicious gift from within the kingdom gates? Don't mind if I do. Well, at least we can mostly understand what this guy's saying compared to drunking. Whoa, 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 buddy! We're not food, we're not candy, we're none of that! You don't want to eat us! Oh, not candy? How am I expected to eat something that's not made of candy? I'm sorry. Harmony always I'm seems sorry. to miss the big loopy monsters. Who are you? <laughs> I am the fox. The Glonk Queen or Grunk. I, I forgot what it was called. Within the kingdom walls, but I was banished by that rotten princess after I ate too many of the delicious town folk. Oh, they were so delicious. Sometimes I can hear them calling to me. Oh, God. That just sounds like murder. <laughs> that just sounds like murder. Like murder if it's delicious. Oh my god, it is a murder if it's delicious. That's probably what Alistair thought. Answer me that. You make a great point. Uh, no, bad point. Why don't you leave this to me before I start thinking your hair looks like licorice? Jax! Oh wow, it kind of does. <laughs> Mr. Fudge, you does. seem like an upstanding guy with real noble goals. Oh, I'm not. If you knew what I I'm did not. in my free time, oh, you'd be sickened. <clears throat> As I was saying, I'm trying here. <laughs> I happen to know a way into the kingdom walls. If you'd be willing to help us out in return. Hey, when did you shut up? Really, you're saying that when didn't he do the exact same thing in the pilot with the key as well? Like he had, or no, he had the key to, uh, oh my God, Kof Kofmo's door. And she was like, how do you have that? Nobody else should have that. And he's like, don't question it. 
licorice hair. Here, hide it with this. Oh, you must be some kind of master of unlocking things. Come to free me from my outdoor prison. That's me. I see those Reese's pieces in the background. All we need you to do is help us bring some dirty bandits to justice. What the fuck? Oh, how convenient. I saw the Reaper wink at me. Wait, what just happened? I don't think it's strong enough to lift that pony. Yeah. Uh, you want to try helping out at all? He's kind of in uh, it right now. Still... <laughs> Quick, like, um. <laughs> hey, you okay? No. You want to talk about it? What is there to talk about? don't just want to leave you here. Why not? I don't matter in the slightest. I'm nothing. My life, my memories, my friends. It's all fake. This may seem weird, but I think I know the feeling. Well, maybe not the exact feeling but feeling like you're nothing is kind of normal i mean here people even feel like that in the world i came from mm, yeah but you still care about your buddies up there don't you i'm sure they still care about you what does it matter what do we have when you people leave we're just obstacles Created to be defeated and forgotten. Well, you don't have to be. You can be more. The, the circus, the, the place I'm from. Well, I, I'm originally from somewhere else. But if it has to be my home, it can be yours maybe too. Maybe it can be yours too. The people there are interesting. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you could be somebody real there. Why are you trying to cheer me up? How does this benefit you at all? I guess I just don't want you to feel like you're nothing. I don't want anybody to feel like that. That's so me, right? Like, that's how I am. Would I even belong? I'm sure you wouldn't belong any less than me. And I could use a friend. A friend? Don't make me tear up over a freaking Diddle Circus episode. So. We weren't supposed to We weren't supposed to have emotional stuff, Gooseworks. You said we weren't gonna have emotional stuff. So don't you dare start because <laughs> I'm just saying that like what Pomni's saying is so like what I believe and stuff and like in terms of like everyone like humans but like especially like this community and everything so it's like for me don't don't you dare <laughs> suppose i could give it a try all i ask is that we don't tell the lads about this there are a couple of bright eyed yobos and i don't want to drag them down with me <laughs> yeah that makes sense also is king gonna allow that because he's the mastermind behind all this so is he gonna allow an npc to become a main I, I don't I don't know about that. I hope so. For what's your name, by the way? Pommy and Gummy Goo. Oh, Gummy wow, Goo. That's Gummy Goo's thing. Just about as dumb as my name. What do you have in mind in terms of getting us out of here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe some kind of glitch with the truck's collisions. I'm not really sure how we could. All right, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. If this doesn't work, we can try something else. You're the expert here. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm just used to playing video games, so I'm just throwing what I would think would work. But let's see how it goes. Where'd you get the key? I just realized this might be a little vile. <laughs> That's like you just rocketed. What in the world? I swear to God, your face will start stretching. The way he looked at her, then quickly looked. 
Y'all said there was gonna be romance in this Goose Works. Even though they're cute. No, don't get me attached to gummy, gummy goo and then it has to like, <laughs> I swear. This is a lot more anticlimactic than I was hoping it'd be. What were you hoping for? Yeah. You know, like one big final battle, bloodshed, death, chaos. I don't think there'd be any blood in Candyland Jacks. It'd be, honestly, chocolate would have been what I would have thought. Or cream filling? I don't, okay, that sounds wrong. But, you know, something like that, that would be blood, not freaking, well, I guess blood could be cherry syrup or something. Whatever. Are you sure they disappeared? It wasn't that they fell off or something? I can't say for sure, but uh, yes, definitely. It's not like the boss to vanish with a clown. Very unusual. Well, that's concerning. Well, if worst comes to worst, Why are you wearing we the could always her ask killer? Kane to find her. I'm more worried she's having another horrible experience. She still seems really upset about what happened yesterday. <laughs> I don't think she really likes me that much. What are you two it's doing? It's for anybody to go through. Don't take it too personally. I remember how long it took for you to adjust. Oh, yeah. Axer? I'm surprised you remember that. Remember what? And it's gone. Oh. Do you guys have a second truck that flies? Yeah. Oh, uh, wait. No, we don't. No, not at all. Oh. Is he dead? Did they kill him? These bubbles not gonna clean it up. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad Bubbles isn't here to look it up. That call. Uh, what's all this stuff? Mommy, are you okay? Well, what happened? Yeah, I'm fine. I uh, I made a new friend. Boss, where have you been? We got fudged. You know what? We got fudged. Okay. <laughs> not literally, right? Two bad guy trucks? No question. What is that? Caramel? Full of syrup too. Oh, I thought it was gonna be caramel. Yeah, suppose it is. Well, uh, you don't suppose my mates here could uh, take this one back to the village, could they? I guess. Since there's two of them, there'd be no real harm. I'm so unbelievably disappointed right now. Well, Jesus maybe there will be blood, death, and violence in the next adventure. <laughs> next episode. Ha 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 ha, how wholesome. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, uh... What the fuck? Look at the two of them. His two henchmen guys are doing patty cake in the background. Ha ha ha, how wholesome. No, that's wholesome. Look at the two of them. Uh oh yeah. <laughs> This is Gummy Goo. He's gonna come back to the circus with us. Mm. Oh, uh, is that allowed? Yeah. His reality was kind of... Shattered? Completely shattered. I feel like it was the least I could offer. The two of them in the background, they're so cute. Leaving him behind. <laughs> hey. Oh, now they're doing a freaking. Uh, let's take this. The girl dance. That, that, the, what do they call them? Uh, Showgirls dance? Where it's the kicking of the feet while they're in our. <laughs> my god. Dumb truck to the dumb kingdom, I guess. Oh, Jacks. Thanks to you, brave knights. I'll I'm still kind of scared what's going to happen again. I feel like Kane's not going to allow sure it. it. was no easy task. You have no idea. Well, brave knights, have fun What's gonna happen when Gummy goes fella. to go through? Yes, that is what we're doing. Oh, this is hey, hey maybe I didn't leave the gate unlocked for nothing after all. Uh, what? I thought he was dead. You still did that? Okay, wait. Jax. Well, love to help you again sometime. Bye. Welcome back, my little hard-shelled hamburger. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared when Kane spots Gummy Goo. I'm so scared. What's he gonna do? I, I, what if he abstracts like immediately? But he's an NPC, cause so can he? So this is the circus, huh? I gotta get used to this. Oh, looks like one of these guys made it through. Wait, what? Wait, what? I know you guys love your NPCs, but if I start losing track of who's a human and who's an NPC, who knows what could happen?
Oh my god! Oh my god! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. You can't. Kane is not gonna let NPC join the main. Yes, we got. Well, I thought I was because. Yep. He, I mean, we kind of. He kind of just said. He said if he starts losing track of who's a main character, who's a real like main character, and who's an NPC, he's gonna. Does he even know what can happen? I bet you even Kane doesn't know. Look, his reaction there. Love your NPCs, but if I start losing track of who's a human and who's an NPC, who knows what could happen? You know, I don't think Kane knows. I don't think Kane knows what could happen if he loses track of, like he said, of who's a human, and who's an NPC. If if the game starts glitching or messing it up or something, like, <laughs> I, oh my God, they're coming in now! Oh, poor Pomni. She, this is her second day. She finally meets someone that she could possibly be friends with or more. Oh. Uh, uh. Ah. <laughs> oh, she's. Well, I'm gonna go drink water. It's been a while since I've done that. Hey, Zubal. I thought he'd never leave. I'm really sorry about that, Pomni. At least you tried. You know, he might be back in a future adventure. I know Kane sometimes likes to reuse NPCs. Is that a way of saying like reuse characters like in the show? That's not gonna help her. Got everything ready. Hey, you at least wanna join us for Kothmo's funeral? Aw. Oh, I'd to have a little funeral service to remember the people who abstract. Oh, you, no, 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 you had emotion. Oh, 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 oh. Mr. I don't give a shit about anyone actually does have a soft spot. Oh, like so he's not a full on a, on a caring story. asshole. Yeah, yeah. That face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Okay, so I know Gooseberg is like made out like Jax is going to be an irredeemable asshole. Which he so could be. He could be irredeemable that he's just got that soft, sensitive side to him buried so deep that he's going to keep acting out like an asshole to cover it but it is there so it's not that he's some kind of like selfish insensitive i mean he is that but like you know full-on just that's his pure personality he doesn't give a shit about anyone so he does care oh that's gonna be interesting what what because who's he's i feel like he's closest to ragatha right now and gangle i don't know about kingler well i don't know what his relationship was like with kofmo and with him being the youngest of the crew, I'm sure he does get attached to more adult-like figures. Um, so I don't know. I wonder. I feel like Ragatha would. Hit, well, I feel like Ragatha being like almost like a mother figure for most, like most of, if not all of them, would hit Jax the hardest. Mm, interesting. So he does have a soft side. Just remember the people who abstract. This one just got pushed around a bit with your arrival and everything. It's the least we can do to honor their memory. Aw, what? Stop with these emotions! Wait, can we have one for Gummy Goo then? <laughs> oh man, I always think I'm prepared for these things, but then you set up the picture and, well, I'm already breaking. Come on, I want to hear- I want to hear- Aw, all the drawing. I kind of wanted to hear what some of them at least said. Like, what Confimo was like. Wait, so I wonder if this is going to show to Pomni that she won't be forgotten like that. Because if they're holding a service like that for Confimo, then she'll definitely get one. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is like a slow version of the opening. All right, okay. Actually, wait, who is the voice of Gummy Goo? 
Oh wait, till it's done. I also want to check that thing out in the store. Oh, that's a nice outro image. I like it. Okay, hold on. I want to see the voice was for Gummy Goo. Gummy Goo in chat, Jack Hawkins. That one I don't recognize. I don't think there was really Princess Luli Lalu, Veritan, Hamish Plagmars, Fudge Monster, and additional Lionel. Ram I don't recognize any of these because I know that Glitch has a tendency to reuse like voice actors from like previous or other series or in previous series. So I was kind of curious in whether they like I don't recognize any of them from at least murder drones. So. Hmm. All right, uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts then. All right, so that was uh, that was the episode two of Digital Circuits. That was, I'm gonna say, uh, definitely better than the first, the pilot, which is typically to be expected. Um, because the pilot's usually just the setup for this the sh the series or the story I, sh I should say, um, but you know what, Goose works. You first off, you said Jax would just be ir like okay, like I said before, he could be still irredeemable, but you said Jax, you made Jax out like he's not gonna have like a soft spot and everything, and the fact that he does like he does care, I'm like I I am glad because I understand that. These, like, the only ones we probably would feel for would be, like, Gangle, Kingler, Ragatha, and stuff. So we don't really need Jax to be, have a soft spot. But I do think it adds on to that. Because you can't, like, I think that's usually what makes you can, like, somebody could be an asshole. Because probably Jax, depending on what his life was like before he got into the Little Circus, probably was hurt a lot, I'm guessing. Or, and he acts out to either cover that or to push people away or to make them not care about him. Even though I'm pretty sure Ragatha and them do. Don't know about Pomni. Pomni, probably not. Uh, uh, but yeah, it, it, I think it makes it, it makes a character more interesting with that. Because to him just being a flat out, I don't know, kind of like, not a muscus, that's a different thing. Um, not psychopath, but like pretty much that you... you he has no remorse for anything he does, and he doesn't care about any of them. They could just literally plop dead, and he doesn't care. We now know he, he does care if they abstract or die. So, um, him acting like he doesn't is just a facade. So, it'll be interesting to see what cracks that shell or breaks through his walls. I wonder if Pomni can do that, if it's going to be Ragatha. I don't I mean, it could be Gangle, because Gangle, but Gangle's so like he said submissive and stuff that I don't think she would stand up to him like that I feel like Pomni would I feel like Pomni would eventually have enough of his sh shtick and say something to him Ragatha probably would too at some point like Ragatha tries to be the the person in the middle and try to make everyone good and happy and calm and stuff but uh Pomni I definitely would crack take a crack at Jax if he pushes too far um but yeah I, I'm glad that his character is going to be that type of character, I think. I, I, I don't see them showing that, like, brief moment of vulnerability just for, for that not to be brought up again. Um, and also, Goose, you said there would be no emotional stuff, and we got, we not only got Gummy Goo, who you got us attached to, to then just Thanos have Kane's Thanos snap, and then you have Cothball's freaking funeral, which, okay, I'm not... I feel like I would have had more of an emotional reaction if we had heard at least Ragatha's speech of Kothmo, so we kind of got to know his character more, because we didn't really get to know him at all in the pilot. All it, all it was was pretty much just Kothmo's abstracted. Okay, well, we're not going to care about a character we don't even know anything about that he's after. It's more like, okay, this could be the possible future of the characters we are going to care about. So, but maybe that's why they did the funeral, and they kind of brushed over it when it comes to, like, the speeches and stuff, because we're not going to care whether they had speeches or not, I personally would have. So at least if Ragatha had spoken, because I feel like if Ragatha said it in a way or spoke about him, I would have been like, oh, I, I wish we could have gotten to know Kafmo because he sounds like a great character kind of thing. It's, you know, it's like 
you lose someone before even getting to know them kind of thing. Kind of like, it's almost like a, I guess, content creator that you hear about passing or whatever, and you've never watched them before, so then you go back and watch their stuff, and you're like, wow, you know, I wish I had come across them sooner kind of thing. Like, it's that kind of feeling. So, yeah. Cosmo, I don't know what their goal with that was. If it was to make him emotional, could have done better with that. But if it wasn't, it was meant to be glanced over, then uh, Mr. Cosmo, so if it was supposed to just show us kind of like, that Jax does care and that, you know, how they handle things and that it leads to Pomni realizing, okay, we're, I'm not going to be forgotten by these guys, at least if I do abstract, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, the plot was great. I, I, I kind of wish Gummy Goo had stuck around longer. Like, I wish we got at least like an episode or two of him more. But I get it. It was kind of, it was to show that Kane is not letting that stuff slide. He, I, and he, I don't think he even knows why he can't. Like, that's not, I think his code is just to prevent, th prevent that stuff, and he doesn't understand, like, like, whenever I think he zones out like that, I think it's, like, a glitch in his coding that's, like, uh, like, he's trying to think of what the reason is, and then this, the coding's, like, don't. So he just, like, freezes. Um, but yeah, plot was, uh, great. Characters were great. Um, the two sidekicks, too, like, Gummy Goo was really good. The princess of the castle didn't really care about. I actually like the fudge monster way more than the glonk monster, or glonk queen. Um, even though glonk queen was voiced by Elsie, which I love Elsie, but uh, wouldn't have even known that was Elsie because of the filter they put on her. Um, but yeah, I definitely prefer the fudge monster, which is, I guess alive, because they left off with Jax having left the, ki the, the kingdom unlocked and everything, which, oh my god, Jax. But I guess if they're all NPCs, does it really matter? In that sense, like, if Gummy Goo couldn't come along and stuff, then I guess it's just destined to repeat, I guess. Sort of, kind of, I don't know, reuse them or anything. Um, so I don't really feel bad for them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, what I felt bad for was Gummy Goo and the, the two... Because they, they technically left... Wait, I just realized. Why didn't Gummy Goo, re like, react? Because they left his sidekicks, I think, with the fudge... No. Okay, I think his, his sidekicks took the truck and left... The extra truck and left... I think. And then he went with Pomni and them. Yeah, I think that's what happened. If not, then why was he so chill with just leaving them with the fudge monster that possibly would kill him? Uh, but yeah, uh, Gummy Goo. Loved Gummy Goo. Wish we had gotten more of them, but it's okay. Um, uh, the I already mentioned, talked about Jax's little soft spot. Um, Pomni going through her thing and kind of... I like that her... It wasn't a talk from Ragatha that got her to real. Even though Ragatha could have easily like quailed her fears, if if Pomni had gone to Ragatha and talked about what her fear was about the dream and stuff, I feel like Ragatha would have been would have easily been able to um, calm her down or get rid of that fear. Uh, but I like that it was a realization between an NPC, an NPC realizing he's an NPC, and then herself kind of like going you know voicing her fear to him and that she can relate to him and stuff and also like the line she said that hit with me about not wanting you know a per not wanting to leave someone feeling like they're are alone or that they don't matter because that's definitely like how I am uh so and then her realization later on that she won't be alone so yeah uh and the animation animation was great like I I'm so glad that glitch is uh, up their game and or up their quality and animation all the way around, not just for like Merjones to up you know episode seven and episode eight. I'm guessing that this is just something they're they're doing. They they're just upping the quality, which you know is still insane. Like you got you got lack of Daisy, you got um, hell of a boss. I was gonna say Asmund Hotel, but that's not the case anymore. Um, and you got. Uh, Ramshackle, which I'll be reacting to after this, actually. Uh, with, I've already seen, like, clips and stuff of Ramshackle, so their quality. Um, and now Digital Circus's quality. Like, the fact that stuff is all free. Okay, I mean, not fully free, because you have to pay for the internet, but it's free where you're not having to pay for an extra service or a streaming service or anything to watch this stuff. And that's insane. Why? Like, uh, and the, this stuff is, like, better than a lot of big studios. Like, <clears throat> Disney. And, um, you know, like those kind of studios and things. So, uh, yeah, um, overall great episode. Can't wait to see the third one. Hopefully it won't be in like three or four months. Hopefully it'll be sooner than that. But, uh, curious now whether it's going to be before Murder Drones episode eight or if it's going to be after. 
I could see them having a thing because I, I don't know when. I feel like Glitch has got to have like two to three series running to be like almost like making good money and keep up this quality and stuff because it would be like an episode of. I mean, we don't even know if Murder Drones is going to continue after episode eight, but if it does, I could see them having like episode of Digital Circus two or three months later. Because they have separate teams, as far as I'm aware, they have separate teams working on each show. So you have a team for Murder Drones, you have a team for Digital Circus, and I think you have a team for um, Gaslight District. So I could see three series being like being one month for Digital Circus, you know, another month for Murder Drones, and another month for like. But then again, it hasn't been greenlit yet for Gaslight. So it, it, the season would need to be greenlit for that. Time. So I don't know. But they could have a whole thing set up with different series. Um, but yeah, anyway, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Uh, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and keep bringing bright. See ya.